a circuit of a very sharp so a band with audio filter I made it in the past uh, to receive a facsimile uh, radio stations on shortwave but now I've made it in a kind of other way and uh, in fact it's only a demonstration circuit so a demonstration of how this circuit works and what you can do with it the formula was published in this handbook from the Radio League of uh, the United States in 1980 uh, I cannot publish the formula because it was copyrighted, this book is copyrighted, but this circuit is derived from uh, that book, made with a 741 op amp, and um, you can calculate the frequency, the exact bandwidth of that frequency with the help of that formula, but I don't do that here. So I've made a kind of a coarse circuit to show the properties. At first the input is um, via a smartphone or an AUX uh, output. A 220 ohms resistor protects the output of the smartphone and then we go to the filter unit and that filter unit here this one and that one and that one these uh, three resistors combined with the value of these capacitors form the filter unit and these were my conclusions the uh, capacitor 1 and capacitor 2 set the bandwidth with the R3 and R2. I found in practice that I could shortcut this first uh, resistor that plays a role in the formula that was published here. So anyway, uh, that's only a conclusion and uh, well that uh, uh, doesn't play any role on the validity of the published formula. I want to demonstrate that. Here is the 741, here is the output, and we see here that out of the 6, pin 6, there is a back coupling to a very sharp filter unit here that has a frequency band. Here are the pin connections of the 741 and R4 and R5 are also uh, taken into that formula but I took only fixed values because uh, R4 and R5 form a kind of voltage divider, that was my conclusion. So I took 27k, 27,000 ohms, but it could be that it even works with two resistors of 5k or 10k or whatever. The frequency dependent part is here. And I also found here that this resistor played a part in this circuit. And I have to say that depends on C1 and C2 I've used for these capacitors 10 nanofarad purely as an experimental setup let's look at the circuit here is the uh, demo circuit a 1 mega ohm potentiometer another 1 mega ohm potentiometer here that 10k potentiometer in series with a 100 ohms resistor and when that 100 ohms resistor is not there the circuit starts to oscillate. I want to demonstrate that when my uh, 
video uh, gives me enough time. Anyway, let's listen to the sound of this audio filter. What happens? What happens when we turn these potentiometers here in the filter and here? I want to do that now. We get a loss, a kind of loss on the energy output, but the, the music changes very substantially. On the scope we can see it. And also, when I turn this potentiometer, we have the same effect. Kind of the same effect. Though it gives more bass frequencies. That's quite good. The music has to start again. Take some time. And when you So, that are, in my opinion, interesting sounds. Um, of course, when you change the value of these capacitors, this one 10 nanofarad and that one 10 nanofarad, here in the circuit, both 10 nanofarad. When you change them, for instance, to 100 nanofarad or 4.7 nanofarad, so 4700 picofarad, you will get a completely different audio band and also completely different audio effect. So that's something uh, interesting to do experiments with. It could be in such a situation that you have to make this resistor higher to prevent oscillations. And perhaps I can demonstrate the oscillations. I <coughs> bridge now the 100 ohms resistor in the circuit with a crocodile clip and I cannot see oscillations now, but perhaps when I turn the other potentiometer the thing will start to oscillate. Well, I think I uh, have made the circuit too stable, but anyway, I certainly found oscillations when this resistor was 50k, 50,000 ohms. Anyway, uh, an interesting circuit, in my opinion, to do a lot of experiment with. So, uh, you can spend many hours in funny experiments, interesting experiments in electronics with this circuit. And of course, when you connect here a, a sine wave generator, for instance, this one. You surely will find the exact bandwidth uh, of this filter with the components that you have 
chosen. So, that's also a good idea. Take your time, do these experiments and you can learn a lot out of this very simple circuit.